Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCarrick and welcome to my channel. I want to do a quick intro because I have to explain this video really quick so you understand it. This creation was made in October and it was supposed to be part of the Waterfall Acrylics and Art Lore collaboration with the Three Do's and Three Don'ts challenge. But as I was editing this video down, I realized one of the don'ts was not to use any white and I had used white cell activator. So I went back and I made another creation, which is the one that you've already seen. So this is going to look similar in nature, although I do have some tips and learnings from this um, that I will share as the video goes on. So it's about a 45 minute video that I cut down to 20 minutes. So please, uh, I'd appreciate it if you stay tuned to the end. And um, I think that's it. Let's get you started. So what I have before here is I have a combination of colors I'm going to use and a base on this Lazy Susan I'm making. Um, this is a made up color and I want to show you what I used for it. I used Georgian Bay and black to start with. I used these two colors from Sherwin Williams to start and when I mixed them up, it was way too thin. So I had to add some of my black scraps, which is in this container. And this is a uh, paints that I've accumulated over time because that was nice and thick. So I used that to thicken it up and then it was uh, too dark. So then I had to play with my color blending and I ended up adding some of this Pearl Glacier Blue to give it a little more, to give it a little pearlescence and to lighten it. So that was the first adventure is getting my base color. I could have just gone with black, but I've had this Georgian Bay sitting around for so long, I just wanted to use it for something. So this is my first time putting it down to use it for something practical. Now, my colors. I was told I have to use blue. So I've got a blue base and I've got a blue color. So now this blue color is made from TLP Frost. Oh, that was another one, TLP. It's TLP Frost combined with Deco Arts um, Sky Blue Topaz. This is metallic um, green by Artist Loft with some phthalo green by Golden. This is Kaput Mortem Violet with Carbon Black from Golden. This is my usual gold combination, Iridescent by Golden and 24 Karat. And this is my uh, Carbon Black from um, Golden. So in here is my TLP. I have a lot of it in there. I, I have only a little bit of sky blue topaz. And actually the frost is a prettier color. And this is really pretty. And then what I have here is my cell activator, and this is Lamp Black. It's my American Floatrol cell activator. And then this is my Titanium White. And this is on video, video 141. If you wanted to take a look at how I make it, I swear by this, it's perfect for me. My Lazy Susan, I've prepared my Lazy Susan. I taped the back, and I also taped the spinner to the board. So when I'm spinning, I'm spinning on my spinner. My spinner is doing the work. So I don't have to touch the Lazy Susan. I just touch my spinner. And then I'm going to use this palette knife, which I have never used before. So we're going to have fun with this one. All right, I'll get you down as soon as I get my pillow started, and we'll be back in a minute. I'm going to hopefully have everybody in frame here as I go. And here's another thing. That's a great start. <laughs> I um, am making a Lazy Susan. I actually was thinking about a variety of different things, but I decided to go with a Lazy Susan because I am literally out of them. I've done an art fair the last couple weekends and uh, what I had was is gone. So I need to make some. And I just decided I'm gonna try something a little different with a different color base. I've done white and black. So now we're trying something a little bit different with the blue. Now, if you've watched me, first of all, I gotta get this thing centered. I had it centered and then I took it off. Now I'm usually doing blooms. 
but I can't use a hairdryer. So I am going to swipe. All right, you look good and pretty centered here. All right, lay down the colors. I'm starting with black, because the black is gonna be the first one down. I'm gonna lay things a little bit backward, and then I'm gonna lay two of the colors on my cell activator on my palette knife. You will see in a minute. So let's get going. Let's see how I wanna do this. So everyone, I'm gonna to go to five times the speed here as I'm laying down the first, I think, three layers of color. The other colors I'm going to put on the palette knife, and you'll see that in a minute. I finally, I played around with creating two CDs and finding the right combination. So now I'm going to go to the palette knife. So I'm going to lay down the black color, for, the black cell activator first. And I hope you're able to see me. I'll try to do it as best I can. Just trust me, I'm putting the black down first. I'm gonna spread it around with my stick. Now the white, I don't know if you can see me. I'm just gonna drizzle some of the white over the top of the black. Now, I'm gonna put some of the colors on top. I'm gonna to start with the the green, uh, the blue. I'm gonna start with the blue, because I want the blue to be the first color down after the cell activator. And I wanna make sure to put a lot down. I'm layering this blue really thick. And now, the green. Do I have enough blue? Now the green, I've never used this palette knife before, so this will be fun. I think I've got enough on here. And now this is always the moment of truth when you're swiping is the swipe. So I'm gonna follow my curve and I'll probably swirl it up and then I'm gonna play with it a little bit. I am allowed to use a palette knife, so that's good. All right, here we go. I'm already halfway down. Okay, we'll see what this gets. I kind of went a little flat there, that was weird. And I gotta trust that the cell activator is gonna come back because I can't blow. So I'm kind of in a pickle. Let's see how this goes. I can use a palette knife in there. Give this a minute to kind of settle down a little bit. Just break up the surface tension a little bit here while I'm waiting. So everyone, of note, I am going to cut out a lot of just palette knife cleaning and staring as we go forward here. You're not going to miss anything important. All right, where are we, folks? Okay. 
yeah, not being able to blow is really a, is a, is a darn challenge for using the bloom paints. All right, let me get my handy dandy palette knife out here. I have trust that when I spin it, it's gonna stretch out the cell activator. I'm not thrilled with that shape, but let's fix this. Okay. Yeah, the cells are coming back nice. I feel like I have a chance. probably going to fall off, but I'm going to play with it anyway. All right, got to do something with this. And I got to stretch out that section because it's flat. He's got a flat back. He has no curve to his spine. And then I'm going to have to fix his knees too because he's flat over here. So maybe I need a bigger palette knife. Too big, I think. I want to go with this. Okay, let's start up here. Now, let's start down here because this is going to be the more constraining section. Let me get in there for those cells. Choose this big guy here. Not liking the way that moved. Going for composition here. Seeing what I can make yeah, out of this thing. Give it an easy start when it comes to me. That was faster than an easy start. I need more pillow. And if you've watched me before, I'm very, very slow in how I build out these Lazy Susans. I'm very, I, I, I end up having to edit my videos a lot because I do take my sweet time to let this composition go. I don't wanna bore everybody with every single moment of the development. Nice and easy. I would like to do something with this first. I would like to pull that up before I lose too much depth in this. I may have already lost too much. My idea was to pull this up, but it'll it'll stretch. It'll it'll get there. Let me just put some more pillow down there. I should have caught it earlier on. 
because I don't like that it's so flat. I want to have it be a little more flowy. Let's see what happens as we spin it again. I definitely want it to flow a little more over here. How can I do that? Kind of going the wrong direction. I'm trying to scoop and drag it and it's not going. Not working, but I'm not stre done stretching it. So let's just keep working it and see where we end up. and easy. Still don't have all my edges yet, so we'll let it just run for a second here. Yeah, well, I like everything except for that. <laughs> and I can't blow it out. I'm stuck. When all else fails, pull out the toothpick. I think that's about it. I think that's as much as I can do. I, I like the color combination. I really like this part down here. I like the way the blue and the green played up top. And this whole blend of colors in here, the cells are fantastic. And without having, to, without blowing, I think they came up pretty good. All right, I'm going to sign off for now. I will get you an overhead. And we'll be resining this bad boy in about 10 days. So when that's a wrap, I hope you enjoyed the video. And now I have two creations with this blue base, which is just beautiful. And unfortunately, this video can't show the pearlescence that's shining in that blue base. It's gorgeous. I'm really happy with how the cell activator performed, even though I couldn't blow. And so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell on all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. And at the end, I will have a playlist that I will flash up with other Lazy Susans. And here is the mini me clock that I created as a test for this color palette. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Till next time.